So we waited for Aquinox a, a long time, the, the series, um, I didn't know that it even existed. Uh, what, why does it take so long to make a new game? Well, the thing is that with Aquinox it's an old IP. All of us that we're working on it are huge fans of the franchise. Myself, I've played all of the games. Um, we then approached Nordic, who is now the owner of the IP, and told him, well, let's try and revive that, make a new game. and. Well, after some time, we agreed to make a reboot, so it's not, an, uh, not a sequel, not a third part, it's a reboot. So there are many reasons why we've decided on a reboot. And so you go to Nordic and said, yeah, let's do this? Yes, um, we, are, we have been working with Nordic with pre other projects previously, and we approached Nordic and um, offered them that we will develop the game. We have, uh, Digital Arrow have not been working on the previous Aquanaut games. Uh, although some of the concept art is done by the original um, art director. Cool. And um, what what is what has changed in all these years on this game? What have you new new? Because after such a long time, probably the, also the game has changed a bit and want uh, want something new from the game. Uh, yes. Um, so part of the reason why we are doing a reboot is exactly this. Uh, we are doing a reboot, big part because the political background uh, that the old games used has dramatically changed. Um, like the Japanese Chinese was a one faction. I think that wouldn't really work nowadays. Um, and another thing is that unfortunately, the original author Helmut Hauptmann passed away due to heavy illness in 2009. So. We couldn't exactly continue. Another large change, obviously, is the advance of technology. So the game currently has uh, really amazing environments, I'm sure. It's really good for exploration, gives good, um, good way of immersion. Um, just as back in the day, Aquinox was a um, technological marvel. It looked amazing. I remember when I first looked at the games, I was like, oh my god. And my PC was on fire. but I was playing it on minimal settings, but I was playing it. <laughs> and so this, this is this is one this is one part. But um, from the from the gameplay part, was it what have changed? Um, well, or the original Schleif art, so the um, um, Schleif art was it Archmedian Dynasty? Yeah, the original Archmedian Dynasty was much more uh, tactical, while the Aquinox One and Two was uh, heavily action based. So we are trying to find a nice middle ground. Obviously, we're very in early in development to say anything for sure. But um, we will be obviously open to listening to the community and see what they find the best. What has big part changed, obviously, is the technological approach that we have. Really nice interaction with the game world. Uh, lots of hidden stuff uh, to explore around and the vertical gameplay. So the old games didn't have vertical gameplay. Um, might be due to design, might be due to technical limitations. We have vertical gameplay. So the vertical gameplay shows off in our cave layers. We're gonna go, going to be much deeper inside one map. Um, caves inside caves and large caverns to explore. Lots of hidden stuff to find like uh, shipwrecks, um, stuff hidden be below sand. You can blow away some of the sand with your engines. It's a pretty cool feature to find some hidden weapons, equipment, because your ship is actually modular. That's another big change. You, your ship is not like, you don't buy one ship, you put your ship together from small pieces, like wings, engine, cockpits, trunks. It affects all your stats, like in an RPG. Um, if you put in um, an engine that is more about acceleration, you don't get as much top speed. And on top of this plays a big role that our ships are, are made from actually, how to call this, a class system? I can call them classes. Um, we have scouts, fighters, very heavy fighters, or bombers, and industrial, which is for mining and trading. What do you think, which is uh, the, the core of Aquinox, what do you think, which is the most important part of it? Um, the core of Aquinox, well, it's an underwater shooter. It's a shooter that is underwater. 
it has that kind of sense of 360 shooter, I would say. Uh, you can't exactly look up because you're in the water, not in space. But it's the combat, that's the gist of it, and the combat must be amazing. Uh, that's why we are really experimenting with what kind of weapons we have. Um, obviously, the weapons need to fit the underwater settings. We don't have those little buzzers, lasers. We have torpedoes, huge-ass torpedoes. Um, bio weapons and canisters, like you hit an enemy ship and kind of splashes, deals damage over time. Bacteria, um, all this is basically based on scientific fact. What about the controls? I think isn't this a big, a big part of this of such a game as well? If you are underwater, well, controls definitely. I mean, controls are a big part of the game in the sense that well, that's part of the com combat. But in in exploration, um, exploration obviously is very important. That's one of the big frees: combat, exploration, and story. Controls are distinctive for this type of a game. There are no games like this that have uh, the closest one is a space sim. Uh, but in space, you have you don't have water density, so we experimented a lot with how to find the right feeling, and it's still in progress. Actually, when taking so far as going to diving classes and put weights on me, so people would push me around in the water, so I can I can feel how how it how it feels in the water to move, and it was an interesting experience. But we are translating all that into the game, and um, I think we are somewhat in the right direction obviously we will see once we start showing stuff to people what they have to say so and when you are going live like you said um, Aquinox is going to be going live in the coming days coming weeks our Facebook page and website will probably be online in a couple of weeks I mean when, when the game coming out the game coming out yeah. well <laughs> that's a good question and as most people say, it's done when it's done, but I would say 12 to 16 months from now. So it's it's a bit away. We are in an early prototype phase. So all that we show is, is still very experimental. We would love to release it as soon as possible, but let's be honest, it needs to be awesome. Yeah. Are you planning to do something like, like early access that, uh, that uh, you got uh, the community feedback very early? Early access is... Um, how to say it, it's a hard question and hard not to crack how to do it, when to do it, if we will do it. So I would rather say it might happen. Um, it really doesn't depend on us. It really depends how things progress in the future. And the same with the platform. Um, it's a long thing to discuss. Hopefully we will do something about that. Okay, thank you.